Hello students and good morning. So now I am doing class for class 10. The topic is the same topic that is partnership business. So in the next, uh, in the last online class, we did some problems on partnership business from the book. So today we'll do previous year's question papers from Madhimik Paricha. So now let's start this Madhimik Paricha 2017. And this question is particular from the Mathematics Parisa 2017 and this question is based on partnership business. Okay, so now let's start this question that is 5 number 2 and this question carries 5 marks. So this question carries 5 marks, right? The question is 5 number 2 is A, B and C starts a business jointly investing rupees 1,80,000 in together. The ABC le yoda partnership business start with this, uh, investing jointly rupees 180,000. The total una le koti invest kare sa rupees 180,000 invest kare sa. Thora yo first part ma ABC le koti koti invest kare sa tiyo bhani ko chahi na. The isko lagi orko condition ya kya dekho sa A gives rupees 20,000 more than that of B. And B gives rupees 20,000 more than that of C. That means A le, B le vanda rupees 20,000 oze jayada tirsa. And B gives rupees 20,000 more than that of C. C le jati invest garsa, tiyo vanda besi 20,000 koli invest garsa rupees B le. Ta sab vanda besi koli invest garsa, A le invest garsa. Tez pasi B le invest garsa, tez pasi kom ti ma koli invest garsa, C le invest garsa. That is B gives rupees 20,000 more than that of C and A gives rupees 20,000 more than that of B. So A le chai sapa bandha B si zyada tir sa invest garsa, tez pasi B le invest garsa, tez pasi koli garsa, C le garsa. So distribute the profit of rupees 10,800 among them. So you have to distribute a total profit of rupees 10,800 among A, B and C. Is that clear? So A le kothi invest garsa, B le kothi invest garsa, C le kothi invest garsa, pahila yu nikalo. Ya question ma chahi, together they will invest rupees 1,081 lakh. Uh, together A, B and C jointly they invest rupees 180,000. You say total investment bhai go. अनि क्वेशन मा यहाँ कन्डिसन पनि दिएको छ एउटा हैन बी गिव्स रुपीस 20000 मोर देन दैट अफ सी एन्ड ए गिव्स रुपीस 20000 मोर देन दैट अफ बी ए ले बी ले भन्दा रुपीस 20000 ज्यादा इन्भेस्ट गर्छ अनि फेरि भन्दै छ बी ले सी ले भन्दा रुपीस 20000 बेसी इन्भेस्ट गर्छ नाउ यु हैव टु डिस्ट्रिब्यूट द प्रॉफिट अफ रुपीस 10800 अमंग ए बी एन्ड सी इज दैट क्लियर टु ऑल अफ यु so here total investment now let's do the solution now so here what is the total investment so total investment is equal to rupees so what is the total investment here it is 1 lakh 80000 okay ab a b c le kati kati tirecha yo chai arko condition ma dekhos sab bhanda kam ti ko le tinu paryo c le tinu parcha bhane bhandai chai yaha question ma so B gives rupees 20,000 more than that of C. Suppose C le invest gar dhe chare rupees X. Let C invested rupees rupees X. Let C invested rupees X. So therefore by question B invested rupees 20,000 more than that of C. B le kothi invest gar se gar dhe sa C le bandha 20,000 zyada tir dhe sa C le kothi tir dhe sa X B le yo bandha 20,000 zyada tir dhe sa Bani si 20,000 yo X ma kye gano pareo add gano pareo So therefore B invested rupees kothi bhaio X ma kothi add gano pareo 20,000 kira bane B le C le bandha kothi besi tir dhe sa 20,000 tir dhe sa बुझ्दै छ फेरि क्वेशनले भन्दै छ ए गिव्स रुपी रुपीस 20000 मोर देन दैट अफ बी ए ले बी ले भन्दा 20000 बेसी तिर्छ सो देयरफोर ए इन्भेस्टेड ए इन्भेस्टेड रुपीस 
बीले तो ये तीन रियल है एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड तो ये ले यो बंदा और जो ही बेसी को तीन रियल है ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड और जो ही बेसी तीन रियल है प्लस ये क्या करने पर हो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऐड करने पर सो सो इजी करो रुपीस को तीन बायो एक्स प्लस यो को तीन बायो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्ल so C invested rupees X, B invested rupees X plus 20,000 and A invested rupees X plus 40,000. Is that clear? So what is the total investment? How can you get the total investment? You have to add all these three investments. So write down, therefore. So next step, I think I've understood this one. Uh, so total investment. So total investment is equal to rupees. Now, I'm going to add this to the three times. How much invest is going to be? X plus 40,000 plus B is going to invest to the three times. X plus 20,000 X plus 20,000 plus C is going to invest to the three times. X is going to invest to the three times. Do you understand? Now, let us add them. Is equal to rupees x plus x plus x that is your 3x that is your 3x plus 40,000 plus 20,000 that is your 60,000 this is the total investment now actually by question what is the total investment it is 180,000 but by question but by question Total investment, but by question, total investment is equal to how much is it? It is rupees one lakh eighty thousand. It is one lakh eighty thousand. Understood? Abo, how many isam gorera nikale? Total investment is equal to rupees three x plus sixty thousand. But by question, the total investment is equal to rupees one lakh eighty thousand. So you can equate this two, isn't it? You do it like you know, sir. They should be equal. So therefore, three x plus sixty thousand is equal to one lakh eighty thousand. Let us solve it to get the value for x. Okay. So let us solve it to get the value of x. So now, or three x is equal to sixty thousand. Take it to the right hand side. So it is one lakh eighty thousand, one lakh eighty thousand minus sixty thousand. Okay. So or three x is equal to now we can subtract it. Uh, four zeros are there. Eight minus six is two, one. That is one lakh twenty thousand. So what is the value for x? That is one lakh twenty thousand divided by three. Or x is equal to this is your forty thousand. That is. What is the value of a and value of x? That is your 40,000. So therefore, now I mean, ABC ko individual capital, that is individual investment, I mean, you can So A's capital, so A's capital is equal to how much is it? Actually, A's capital was rupees x plus 40,000, isn't it? We had assumed uh, A's capital is equal to rupees, that is A's investment is equal to rupees X plus 40,000. So we can add here uh, X, what is the value for X here? This is your 40,000 plus 40,000. So which is equal to rupees? This is your 80,000. Is that clear? So now let us find out B's capital now. So B's capital is equal to rupees what was b's capital it was x plus twenty thousand right it is x plus twenty thousand which is equal to rupees x the value for x is forty thousand plus twenty thousand which is equal to rupees you can add them you'll get sixty thousand is that clear now so now let us find out c's capital what was capital of C? That is investment of C was rupees X. And what is the value for X in this case? It is 40,000. So therefore C's capital is equal to rupees 40,000. Therefore 
सीज कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड इज दैट क्लियर सो यू कैन कॉपी इट आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट सो नेक्स्ट सो दैट द टोटल प्रॉफिट वॉट वॉज द टोटल प्रॉफिट एक्चुअली इट वॉज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस टोटल प्रॉफिट दैट इज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड इन द रेशियो ऑफ द कैपिटल्स सो हियर जस्ट नाउ वी गॉट द कैपिटल्स ऑफ ए बी एंड सी लेट अस फाइंड आउट देयर रेशियो बिकॉज द प्रॉफिट इज डिवाइडेड इन द रेशियो ऑफ देयर कैपिटल्स ओके सो नाउ रेशियो ऑफ कैपिटल्स इज इक्वल टू Ratio of capitals is equal to. So how can you find it? A is to B is to C. A is to B is to C. In this case, you don't have to write down that rupees because in terms of ratio, that rupees will be cancelled. So what was A's capital? It is eighty thousand. It is eighty thousand is to B's capital sixty thousand. Sixty thousand is to C's capital is forty thousand. This is your forty thousand. Is that clear? So now we can cancel this common term. These four zeros gets cancels, which is equal to eight is to six is to four. Again, you can cancel them. Two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Two twos are four, which is equal to four is to three is to two. So I think you have understood it. Now, what was the total profit here? That is the profit is equal to rupees ten thousand eight hundred. So therefore, profit is equal to rupees ten thousand eight hundred. Now this total profit ten thousand eight hundred is divided in the ratio of their capitals, which is four is to three is to two. So now rupees ten thousand eight hundred is divided is divided in the ratio. In the ratio of capitals, which is equal to four is to three is to two. So I think you have understood it. Now we have to divide rupees ten thousand eight hundred in the ratio of four is to three is to two. Now write down sum of the ratio. So sum of the ratio. So what is the sum of the ratio here? Four plus three plus two, which is equal to nine. Now divide the profit now. so therefore profit of a so what was the profit of a what is the profit of a now so now in this case a a is equivalent number here is 4 it is 4 divided by 4 divided by some of the ratio is 9 into what was the total profit out here rupees 10800 rupees 10800 right So we can cancel it. Nine ones are nine. Nine ones are nine. Nine twos are eighteen. Double zero is equal to rupees, which is equal to rupees. It is four thousand eight hundred. That is profit of A is equal to rupees four thousand eight hundred. Next, profit of B. Profit of B is equal to. Now B is equal to number here is three. Write down three divided by nine into rupees. Total profit ten thousand eight hundred. So it is nine ones are nine, nine twelves are hundred eight, which is equal to rupees. This is your thirty six hundred. Okay. Next, profit of C. What was the profit of C is equal to C is equal to number here is two. This is two divided by nine is equal to uh, two divided by nine, two divided by nine into rupees ten thousand eight hundred. So you can cancel here again. Nine ones are nine, uh, eighteen. Nine twos are eighteen, and double zero, twelve hundred, which is equal to rupees. This is your twenty-four hundred. So we have got the answer. So you have to divide rupees ten thousand eight hundred among three friends. That is A, B, and C. So what was the profit of A? It is rupees forty-eight hundred or four thousand eight hundred. What is the profit of B? Rupees thirty-six hundred. And what is the profit of C? It is two thousand four hundred. So these are the answers. So I think you have understood it. So you can copy it. 
एउटा कुरा मैले फर्स्ट मा के भन्नु बिर्सेछु भन्दा फेरि एउटा कुरा याद गर्नु यो जुन चाहिँ रेशियो अफ क्यापिटल छ र यो रेशियो अफ प्रफिट चाहिँ सेम हुन्छ भनेर याद गर्नु दैट इज रेशियो अफ क्यापिटल कति छ 4:3:2 the ratio of profit of ABC is the same universe. That means ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. You say it. You say it. You say it. You say You say it. You say You say it. 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 You अब हेर रेशियो प्रॉफिट कसरी भयो यहाँ रेशियो अफ क्यापिटल्स 4:3 इज इक्वल टु रेशियो अफ प्रॉफिट कसरी हुँदै छ आई टोल्ड यू दैट रेशियो अफ क्यापिटल्स इज इक्वल टु रेशियो अफ प्रॉफिट अलवेज यो याद गर्नु पर्छ तिमीले किनभने कति वटा प्रब्लमहरु हामी यो कन्डिसन पनि युज गर्छौ दैट इज दैट इज रेशियो अफ क्यापिटल्स इज इक्वल टु रेशियो अफ प्रॉफिट राइट सो अब सपोज यसको रेशियो प्रॉफिट निकालेर तर यसको आन्सर हैन जस्ट Timana uh, Mabuzoni Testago desu, that is ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of their profit. Okay? So, our yeah, ratio of profit nickel the very. So, ratio of profit nickel the very. See, eco profit ko desa, 4800. Is to B ko profit ko desa, 3600. Is to profit of C ko desa, 2400. Right? So, your double zero double zero gets cancels. So, you can cancel here. So, you can cancel it by. How much? Uh, you can cancel it by uh, 12. 12 fours are 48. 12 threes are 36. 12 twos are 24. That is, which is equal to 4 is to 3 is to 2. Actually, this is the ratio of profit and this is the ratio of capitals. So, what do we see here is that ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. Okay? So, you should know that always ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit the as a formula pani timale yo yaad garna saksau yo chai maile khali bujha bhai ta timale yaad garne ke yaad garnu parcha re ratio of capitals or ratio of investment is equal to ratio of profit yo yo chai timale ramro sang yaad garnu lekhnu khata ma ratio of capitals or ratio of investment is equal to ratio of profit okay the answer is that yes, I'm not aware. Ila, you say my rebuzang mate. That is ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. So you can copy it. So now we'll do the next question. That is from Madhyamik Pariksha 2018. So this question is from the same chapter that is partnership business. The question is five number B is so this problem is based on compound partnership business because in this case uh, the time period is not the same. That is the investment of capitals uh, is not the same time period because in this case the investment or the capitals invested is uh, kept for different time period. Okay, so this is from Madhyamik Pariksha 2018. So five number B is A, B, and C start a business with the capital of rupees six thousand, rupees eight thousand, and rupees nine thousand respectively. The A, B, C le yada business business suru kar sa by investing uh, rupees six thousand, eight thousand, and then nine thousand respectively. So A invested rupees six thousand. B invested rupees 8,000 and C invested rupees 9,000. Okay. Now, after a few months, after a few months, A invests rupees 3,000 more. K minus pasadi A le odzai basic kothi tir desa rupees 3,000 more in that business. Kyo bapar ma A le K samay K minus pasadi odzai kothi basic paisa thapya rupees 3,000. Okay. So now, अब B or C ले क्या करे बने सा कैपनी बने को सही ना B or C ले जो से इन्वेस्ट करते सा तो फिक्स बस सा ठीक सा So at the end of the year, बरसों को अंत में 
वर्ष को अंत में दे गेन रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड गेन को प्रफिट द टोटल प्रफिट इज रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड दे गेन रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स दे मेड अ प्रफिट अफ रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड एट दी एंड अफ द इयर एंड सी गट रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एज सियर अफ प्रफिट सो व्हाट इज द प्रफिट सियर अफ सी दैट इज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो तो यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट व्हेन डिड ए इन्वेस्ट रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड मो बने से एले से कति महीना पचाड़ी से अज रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड बेसी थपे थियो यो से निकालने पर्च क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन में यही भन्द बुझे इज दैट अंडरस्टुड सो नाउ लेट्स डू द सल्यूसन नाउ तो पैं हम के रेसिओ अफ कैपिटल्स निल ठीक है सो दे फोर रेसिओ अफ कैपिटल्स अभी निस्किन सरी Because this problem is based on uh, compound partnership business. Your compound partnership business, what's the reason for that? You don't say investment or capital, sir. This investment or capitals, this is invested for different period of time. Because you don't say LA invest got this got this rupees six thousand. So LA rupees six thousand. Pila beginning of the year invest got you. So after a few months, kini may kini may na pasali firi a invest rupees three thousand more in that business. So you jun say after a few months sir, so kati may na pasali say rupees three thousand odd say basi tir day sir a le. Bani rin yah question ma sob day sir. Suppose ti may le suppose rin x months. After x months, a invest rupees three thousand more. बने यो जुन से एले रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड इन्वेस्ट करते यो कति महीना को लगी फिक्स भो एक्स महीना को लगी फिक्स भो तो अब सिक्स थाउजेंड में यो थ्री थाउजेंड जोड़िंद कई थाउजेंड अब यो नाइन थाउजेंड कति महीना को लगी फिक्स भफ्टर एक्स मंथ्स ए इन्वेस्ट रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड मो भाई दिस ए को जो रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड यो सिक्स थाउजेंड एक्स महीना को लगी फिक्स बसो तो आफ्टर एक्स मंथ्स ए इन्वेस्ट रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड मोर अब सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड कई थाउजेंड अब यह नाइन थाउजेंड रिमेनिंग कति महीना को लगी राखी एट दी एंड अफ द इयरसम पी बाहर महीना हो एक वर्ष में बाहर महीना हो बाहर बड़े एक्स के घट दैट इज ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स दैट इज रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड इज नाइन थाउजेंड सो नाइन थाउजेंड इज केप्ट फिक्स फर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स मंथ्स ओके तर यहाँ बी री को यहाँ के बने के दैट इज बी को रुपीज एट थाउजेंड इज केप्ट फिक्स फर अल ट्वेल्व मंथ्स रुपीज सी को रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड इज केप्ट फिक्स फर अल ट्वेल्व मंथ्स तो यहाँ से यह जो पैसा इन्वेस्ट कर एबीसी को यह डिफ्रेंट टाइम पीरियड भे कारण यह प्रब्लम हम के कंपाउंड पार्टनरशिप बिजनेस तो पैला रेसिओ अफ कैपिटल्स निल्न हो बुझे बुझे न अच्छा नाउ लेट्स डू दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ तो यहाँ पे लिख सल्यूसन में लेट आफ्टर एक्स मंथ्स कम ए इन्वेस्टेड ए इन्वेस्टेड रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड मो ओके सपोज हर हाई तो एले रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड अज बेस तीर्द कति महीना पचाड़ी एक्स महीना पचाड़ी हमें यही एक्स को भैल्यू निल अब ए को कैपिटल कति भो so, एज कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू ए वर्ष को सुरू में कति तीर्द रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड सो रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड यो सिक्स थाउजेंड कति महीना का फिक्स बसो यहाँ क्वेश्चन में भाई आफ्टर एक्स मंथ्स मात्र ए इन्वेस्टर रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड मो तो एक्स महीना का सिक्स थाउजेंड तो फिक्स बस एक्स सिक्स थाउजेंड इंटू एक्स प्लस अब के सिक्स थाउजेंड में अज कति एड कर सिक्स थाउजेंड में अज कति एड कर रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड भो तो यो सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन थाउजेंड भो ए को इन्वेस्टमेंट कति महीना पचाड़ी एक्स महीना पचाड़ी तो यो नाइन थाउजेंड एक्स नाइन थाउजेंड दिस रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड इज केप्ट फिक्स फर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स नाउ तो वर्ष को अंतसम अब कति भो दिस रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड इज केप्ट फिक्स फर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स नाउ तो एक वर्ष में बाहर महीना होारह महीना में एक्स महीना तो बीती गए 
Hain, Q x say bara minus bara got on bara. Twelve minus x. That is nine thousand is kept fixed for how many months? Twelve minus x. So this is your twelve minus x. I think you have understood it. So let us simplify it further. Is equal to rupees. This is your six thousand x plus. This is your nine thousand. Nine thousand into twelve minus x. Bracket closed. Is equal to rupees. This is your six thousand x plus twelve zeros are three zeros. Twelve nines are hundred eight, and three zeros are there minus nine thousand x. Is that clear? So which is equal to rupees? This is one zero eight and triple zero. Then six thousand x minus nine thousand x is minus three thousand x. Now you know how to subtract it. Okay. So this is your is capital. ये से कौन सा कैपिटल बाय सा इज कैपिटल ओके अब वो नाउ व्हाट इज बीस कैपिटल नाउ देवरफॉर बीस कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू हाउ विल यू फाइंड इट नाउ बीस कैपिटल दैट इज रुपीस एट थाउजेंड इज केप फिक्स पर होल ईयर दैट इज फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स दैट इज रुपीस एट थाउजेंड इनटू ट्वेल्व तो कौन दिवा ट्वेल्व एट्स आर नाइनटी स and three zeros. That is 96,000. Similarly, what is C's capital? C's capital is equal to rupees. Now here also, C's capital is remain fixed for how many months? 12 months. That is rupees 9,000. 9,000 into 12 is equal to rupees. How much is that? 12 nines are 108, isn't it? 108 and there is triple zero. So this is your C's capital. So I think uh, you have understood it. Now let's simplify it further. Now let us find out the ratio of capitals. How about the ratio of capitals? Now let us find out ratio of capitals. Okay. Now let us find out ratio of capitals now. So therefore, ratio of capitals is equal to a is to b is to c now let us find it ab ami ratio of capitals nikalso a ko kati cha rupees na rehnu cha rupees 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 ratio ma cancel huncha so a ko kati bha 108 triple 0 minus 3000 x 3000 x is to b kokatisa it is 96 and triple zero is to c kokatisa 108 triple zero the u ratio i mean lowest fraction man line equals is going on you do it i'm a got the common sir you do it i'm a got the common sir 3000 right so 3000 is taken common within bracket what do we get Three three is a nine. Three six is a eighteen. Okay, that is your thirty six minus x is to ninety six thousand is to one zero eight triple zero. Right. So you can cancel the similar term from all these three numbers. So double uh, triple zero will be cancelled. So is equal to three into thirty six minus x is to ninety six is to hundred and eight. फिरी कौन सी जानता है? थ्री ले जानता है। थ्री वन जा थ्री, थ्री थ्री जा नाइन, थ्री टू जा सिक्स, थ्री थ्री जा नाइन, थ्री सिक्स जा एटीन। इस डेट क्लियर नाउ? सो दिस इज योर थर्टी सिक्स माइनस एक्स इस टू थर्टी टू इस टू थर्टी सिक्स। सो दिस इज द रेशियो। अब वो कैंसल करने सकते ही नहीं है। यो थर्टी अब 36 माइनस एक सब नहीं यू कैन नॉट कैंसल इट अब आमी कुने ये हालत में बनी ये लाई कैंसल करना सब दे ना हूँ बुझ दे सा नाउ दे गेन रुपीस कती बंदे सा क्वेश्चन में इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर दे गेन रुपीस 30,000 उन्हें को गेन बने को प्रॉफिट गेन बने को कती नाफा Total profit at the end of the year is equal to rupees thirty thousand. 
Now you know that this rupees 30,000 is divided in the ratio of this in the in this ratio of their capitals. You reach your man say above rupees 30,000 barna per you. I know the yo theo rupees 30,000 say total profit by you. Now you have to find out the sum of the ratio now. So therefore, sum of the ratio. So sum of the ratio is equal to what is the sum of the ratio? 36 minus x plus 32 plus 36. So you can add those numbers. Uh, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 6, 14, 4, 1, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 10. Right? 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, 4, 1, 1, right? 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So this is 104 minus x. So this is the sum of the ratio. Okay? So yeah, question le bandai sa. Yeah, question le bandai sa. C got C got rupees ten thousand eight hundred as profit share. C le kothi bandai sa profit share rupees ten thousand eight hundred. So yeah, what I mean, kini kalsa profit of C mathe nikalo. I mean, apni nikalo paila. Don't use this profit of C from the book or from the question now. So let us find out the profit of C from here. Okay, so profit of C. So what is the profit of C now? Profit of C is equal to. Cos and equals the profit of C. Now here C co equivalent number C co equivalent number 36. 36 divided by 36 divided by what was the sum of the ratio? 104 minus x. 104 minus x into what was the total profit? Total profit is 30,000 into 30,000 yoba rupees. The 80 passer profit of C. Profit share of C koti sir 36. This 36 divided by sum of the ratio 104 minus x into 3000. How many nikala say 80? But by question, what is the profit share of C? It is uh, 10,800. But by question, but by question, profit of C, profit of C is equal to rupees, it is 10,800. It is 10,800. So you can equate this to, I mean, this is a very good thing. So the question is, 10,800. You do it as you know, this should be equal. Now you, you can equate this two, right? So therefore 36 divided by 104 minus x into, uh, into, uh, into sorry, this is 30,000, right? This is not only 3,000, but it should be 30,000 rupees, okay? 36 divided by 104 minus x into total profit. What is the total profit here? It is 30,000. So right, 30,000, that is rupees, okay? So 36 divided by 104 minus x into 30,000, you put it profit share of C is equal to, but by question, what is the profit share of C? It is 10800. 10800, right? So now let us solve it. 36 divided by 104 minus x is equal to 10800 divided by since this is multiplication sign, when this 30,000 goes to the right hand side, you should write it in the denominator. That is divided by 30,000. So I think you have understood it. So you can cancel here. Double zero, double zero gets cancels. I've got this answer. And now three lay answer. Right? Uh, three lay line, three lay line 100 times. Three lay line, three threes are six. Uh, sorry, three threes are nine. Sorry, sorry, three threes are nine. 3 3 is 9 18 18 3 6 18 is that clear 3 3 is 9 18 3 6 18 right again you can cancel this 36 and 36 is equal to go left co mathi pati is equal to go right co mathi pati same terms of you can cancel them okay so 36 ones are 36 36 ones are 36 right so or it is 1 upon 104 minus x is equal to 1 upon 100. Is that clear? Now we can do cross multiplication out here. Then I mean cross multiply going to 
सो और क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई करता है हंड्रेड वन जा हंड्रेड क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड फोर माइनस एक्स और माइनस एक्स इज टेकन टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एक्स इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड फोर माइनस हंड्रेड और व्हाट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू दैट इज योर फोर सो एक्चुअली व्हाट वाज एक्स द एक्स वाज एज्यूम्ड एज आफ्टर एक्स मंथ्स ए इन्वेस्टेड रुपीस ए इन्वेस्टेड रुपीस थ्री थाउजेंड मोर सो आफ्टर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स डिड ए इन्वर आफ्टर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स डिड ए इन्वेस्ट रुपीस थ्री थाउजेंड मोर सो आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स ए इन्वेस्टेड रुपीस थर्टी थाउजेंड मोर सो देवरफॉर आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स ए इन्वेस्टेड रुपीस थ्री थाउजेंड मोर सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर सो आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट so you can copy it this is very very important question so now we'll do the next question from question paper right ab i mean next question got this so that is from madhyamik pariksha 2017 So this is question number four, number two. So this question carries two marks, right? This question carries two marks. So A invest one and half times more than B invest in a business. B le zati invest kar deisa, A le tio banda kothi besi invest kar sa one and half times more than B. B le zati invest kar deisa, A le B le banda one and half times alik besi tir sa invest kar sa. ठीक सर, so at the end of the year B receives rupees fifteen hundred as profit. At the end of the year बरसों का अंत में B ले कोटी profit पाउंड है सर rupees fifteen hundred. So how much profit A will get at the end of that year? त्यो बरसों का अंत में A ले कोटी profit पाउंड है त्यो निकालने पर सर. So अगर मैं ले उठा क्यों बने थे बंदा भरी थी मेरे लाई ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of their profit. यो से राम रसांग याद होन. Ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of their profit. Ratio of capitals of some friends is equal to ratio of their profit. ठीक सा? तो ये क्या बंदे साहब? A invest one and a half times more than B invest. Suppose B invested rupees X. Let B invested rupees X in a business, right? So A invested is equal to rupees. So A invested is equal to one and half times rupees X, which is equal to. So one and half is known as mixed fraction because one is a whole number and half is a fraction. This is known as mixed fraction. So this is three by two into rupees X, which is equal to rupees. This is your three X upon. Okay, so let us find out the ratio of their investment or ratio of their capitals. So therefore, ratio of capitals. So ratio of capitals is equal to A is to B, which is equal A ko investment kothi ba rupees three x by two. Is to B ko investment kothi ba rupees x. Here x x gets cancels rupees rupees gets cancels. So which is equal to now? How much is it? Three by two is to one. This is three by two is to one. Now here the first number. You know that this is a ratio. First number is known as antecedent, and the second number is known as consequent. But both this and antecedent and consequent should be converted into whole number. Okay. So how can you convert into whole number? Below three there is two, and below one there is one. अब यो डिनोमिनेटर टू रो वन को चाहिए मैं क्यों निकाल सो लेट अस फाइंड आउट द एलसीएम तो टू रो वन को एलसीएम को दियो टू है ना यो दूसरे टाइम नंबर लाइक टू ले मल्टीप्लाई करो सो इसी को लो थ्री बाय टू इनटू टू इस टू वन इनटू टू यो टू टू गेट्स कैंसल्स व्हिच इज इक्वल टू थ्री इस Share of B is equal to rupees fifteen hundred. 
profit share of B is rupees 1500. Now, how much profit A will get at the end of that year? You have to find out the profit share of B. Let the profit share of A B rupees Y. Okay? Again, I mean, I suppose that I think take an amine rupees Y suppose that I suppose that I know. Again, I mean, I keep on it here. Ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. Ratio of profit. So, ratio of capitals is to be got the other thing. Oh, three is to two. Now ratio of profit that is A is to B. Ratio of profit banigo, ratio of profit banigo, profit of A is to profit of B. What is profit of A? It is Y is to what is profit of B here? It is 1500. So I think you have understood it. Okay. Now let us simplify it and get the value for Y. Okay. So now in this case you can write it in terms of fraction. So it is 3 by 2 is equal to y upon kathiva 1500. Is that clear? Now cross multiply 2y is equal to 3 into 1500 or y is equal to 3 into 1500 divided by 2. So you can cancel here 2 ones are 2, 2 lela kathi times uh, 2 sevens are 14, 10, 2 fives are 10 and 0. Or y is equal to how much is it? 3 zeros are 0, 3 fives are 15, 5, 1, 3 sevens are 21, plus 1 is 22. That is y. So what was y actually? Profit share of A is equal to rupees 2250. So therefore, profit of A. So profit of A is equal to rupees 2250. So this is the answer. So how much profit A? How much profit? So how much profit A will get at the end of the year? That is, A will get a profit of rupees 2250 at the end of the year. So this is the final answer. So you can copy it. We'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question that is from Madhya Pradesh 2018. That is question number four, number two. So this question carries two marks. Okay. So A and B start a business with rupees 15,000 and rupees 45,000 respectively. So A and B start it a business by investing rupees 15,000 and rupees 45,000 respectively. So A le the investment got this rupees. 15,000 and B is investing rupees 45,000 in a business, right? So after six months, B received rupees 3,030 as profit. So B ko profit rupees 3,030. So you have to find out the profit share of A. The A ko profit se kati unsa tiyo ni kaan So agile maile bhani ale Ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. You say ekdam aramo so yad dono. You yad sabani you can do this problem. Okay. So now you have to find out ratio of capitals. Ratio of capitals is equal to A is to B, which is equal to A ko investment kati sa fifteen thousand. Oni B ko investment kati sa forty five thousand. Okay. Your triple zero gets cancelled. Five days answer, or a lie. No, what is answer? Uh, fifteen eleven answer. Fifteen ones are fifteen. Fifteen threes are forty-five, which is equal to one is two three. You have a ratio of capitals. So what is the profit of B? So profit of B is equal to rupees three thousand thirty. You have to find out the profit of A. Let profit of A. Let profit of A be rupees X. Okay. A ko profit kothi. I mean, suppose it is X. So, ratio of profit. So, ratio of profit is equal to A is to B. Is equal to A ko kothi ba. Suppose ba X is to B ko kothi ba. 
3030 it is 3030 right as you know that ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit since we know that ratio of profit let us write capital first ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit is equal to ratio of profit is that clear so or what is ratio of capitals here 1 is to 3 it is 1 is to 3 is equal to x is to 3030 or you can write it in terms of fraction 1 upon 3 is equal to x upon this is 3030 so you can do cross multiplication or 3x is equal to 3030 or x is equal to 3030 divided by 3 so it is 1010 so what is the value for x here so x is equal to 1010 what was the x actually is profit is equal to rupees 1010 so therefore is profit is equal to rupees it is 1010 so this is the final answer so i think i have understood it so you can copy it now we'll do the next question So, now I am question to ask this is from Madhimik Paricha 2020. So, I have to do this in the 5 marks section. So, I have to do this book. So, I have to do this in the 5 marks section. So, let's do this question from Madhimik Paricha 2020. And this question carries 2 marks. This is from 4 number 2, right? So, in a business, A and B get rupees 10,050 as profit. Yoda business ma Aero Bile Zamma total profit Koti Pound Rupees 1050. Rupees 1050 says Zamma total profit payo Aero Bile. Aero Bile Zamma total profit Koti Pound 1050. Now, if the principal and profit of AB rupees 900 and rupees 630 respectively. So, what is the profit of A? It is rupees 630. Eco profit Koti Pound rupees 630. Principal one Eco capital that is the investment of A. A le koti investment got this. A ko capital koti bo. A le koti investment got this. That is your principal. That is rupees 900. A le koti invest got this. Rupees 900. So what is the capital of A? It is rupees 900. So you have to find out the principal of B. Principal of B maniko. You have to find out the capital of B. Okay. So now here, uh, principal of A, or you may write capital of A also. So, principal capital ra investment. Eutayo. Yadono. So, principal of A is equal to Kotiba. What is the principal of A? Rupees 900. Okay. So, now what is profit of A? Profit of A by rupees 630. So, my total profit says 1050. So, what is the total profit? So total profit is equal to rupees 1050. Era B ko zamma total profit ko rupees 1050. The profit of A is equal to rupees 630. So now we have to do this minus the profit of B. B le ko profit paaya banda bari. Your total profit minus profit of A. That is profit of B. So profit of B is equal to rupees 1050 bada minus gonu parsa. 630 so which is equal to rupees 0 minus 0 0 5 minus 3 is 2 10 minus 6 is 4 420 is that clear so i think uh, you have understood it this is profit of b okay now you have to find out the principle of b let the principle of b let the principle of b be rupees x the B co principal or B co capital or B co investment. I mean, this was rupees X. As you know that, I already told you that 
ratio of principal or ratio of capitals or ratio of investment is equal to ratio of profit okay so now let us write here ratio of principal ratio of principal is to oh sorry ratio of principal is equal to hey, sorry ratio of principal is equal to ratio of profit is equal to ratio of profit okay so or so ratio of principal one ago principal of a is to principal of b what is principal of a 900 is to what is principal of b it is x which is equal to what is uh, the profit of a what is the profit of a profit of a 630 630 is to what is profit of b profit of b is 420 is that clear now so i think i have understood it so let us simplify it let us write it in terms of fraction 900 divided by x is equal to 630 divided by 420 so here you can cancel these two so you can cancel it by uh, 63 by 42 ma 7 again 7 nines are 63 7 6 are 42 right that is 7 less answer 7 nines are 63 7 6 are 42 very 3 less answer 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 or this is your 900 by x is equal to 3 by 2 I think you have understood it the, you can do cross multiplication so 3x is equal to 9 to the 1800 or what is x is equal to 1800 divided by 3 which is equal to 600 is that clear so you 600 secure what is this 600 x is equal to 600 x is the principle of b so therefore principle of you have to find out principle of b just now we got the principle of b that is principle of b is equal to rupees principle of b is equal to rupees what it is 600 so this is the final answer so i think you have understood it so this question carries two marks you can copy it so we'll do the next question now So now we'll do question from the book that is exercise 14 page number 204 Ganit Prakash for class 10 by uh, West Bengal Board of Secondary Education uh, West Bengal Ganit Prakash for class 10 by West Bengal Board of Secondary Education so we will do objective type of questions now that is very short answer type question which carries one mark only okay so 16a this is multiple choice question type okay so question number one is the capital of three friends in a partnership business are rupees 200 rupees 150 and rupees 250 respectively teen jana partners are go capitals are the ego say partnership business man first partner go 200 second partner go 150 third partner go 250 respectively they go capitals they go or uh, or key they go say investment their investment or their capitals is given out here the first friend co capital rupees 200 second friend co capital rupees 150 third friend co capital rupees 250 they go sir so after some time the ratio of the profits uh, after some time the ratio of their profits share will be what so what will uh, what will be the ratio of their profit share again my money ratio of capital zunse unsa tene or ratio of profit share the ratio of capitals is the ratio of profit share. Is that clear? So now let us write here ratio of capitals is equal to first friend is to second friend is to third friend. Right? So is equal to first friend co uh, capital for this are 200 rupees the rupees is not like that answer because in the ratio this rupees will be cancelled 200 is to 150 is to 250 right so you can write it in lowest form uh, 00 gets cancels 5 lessons of 5 fours are 20 
five threes are fifteen, five fives are twenty-five, which is equal to four is to three is to five. Yeah, ne unsa ratio of their profit share. So ratio of profit share ratio of their let us write here their profit share is equal to four is to three is to five four is to three is to five so which is the correct option out here a b c or d which one is the correct option b b is the correct option right so b four is to three is to five is correct so i think you have understood it now we'll do the next problem so now we'll do the next question that is 16 number 3 this is also multiple choice question type the question is Fatima, Sriya and Smita started a business by investing total of rupees 6,000. Now, we have a partnership business start with us by investing a total of rupees 6,000. Here, Fatima has a investment, Sriya has a investment, and Smita has a investment. So, the total investment is 6,000. So, after a year, one year, Fatima, Sriya and Smita get profit share of rupees 50, rupees 100 and rupees 150 respectively. So after a year, one year of Pachadi, Fatima le kati profit paun daisa rupees 50, Sriya le kati profit paaya rupees 100, Smita le kati profit paaya rupees 150, okay? So Smita invested in this business kunche wa abha? So what is the investment of Smita? Smita le kati investment gare ko chha? क्यों निकालने पड़े अब A B C D में कौन से करेक्ट हो तो मतलब अगले ने बने रेशियो ऑफ कैपिटल्स इज इक्वल टू रेशियो ऑफ प्रॉफिट हमें यह जून से रेशियो ऑफ प्रॉफिट निकाल सो तेने उनसे रेशियो ऑफ कैपिटल्स बुझे हो और ये यो six thousand ये जून से टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट सा six thousand क्यों six thousand से हमें रेशियो ऑफ कैपिटल्स में बा� अनि ऐसे ही नहीं हमी कॉस्ट को इन्वेस्टमेंट निकालने सकते हो इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ स्मिता सो एबीसीडी में कौन से करेक्ट ऑप्शन हो त्यो निश्चियाल सा ठीक सा सो सब पंद्रह पहले हमी क्या करों रेशियो प्रॉफिट निकालों सो रेशियो ऑफ प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू फतिमा फतिमा इस टू स्रेया स्रेया इस टू स्मिता राइट so which is equal to Fatima ko kati sa profit 50 rupees na lekhe unsa ratio ma rupees ki unsa cancel unsa 50 is to 100 is to 150 right here 10 gets cancels 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 which is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 okay now we have total investment kati unsa 6000 but see yeh ratio of profit ne unsa ratio of capitals Ratio of capitals or you may write ratio of investment Ratio of capitals like that means ratio of their investment like that means So which is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 Right, so what is the total investment here? total Investment Is equal to rupees. How much is it? This is your 6,000 So total investment is equal to rupees 6,000 अब यो 6000 बार नोपड़े यो रेशियो में। So what is the sum of the ratio? You have to find out the sum of the ratio, isn't it? So sum of the ratio, sum of the ratio is equal to one plus two plus three, which is equal to how much is that? Six. खाली तीन बेले किन्हीं कारण से investment of स्मिता मते निकालो पर सा। So therefore investment of Smita ko matte ni You have to find out investment of Smita only. Okay? So what is the equivalent number for Smita out here? This is 3. 3 divided by what is the sum of the ratio? What is the sum of the ratio? Sum of the ratio is 6 into what? Uh, total investment. That is rupees 6000. That is rupees 6000. Right? 6 1 the 6. 6 into 1000 is 6000. Which is equal to rupees 
3000 so so smita invested rupees 3000 in this business so which is the correct option c c rupees 3000 is correct is that clear to all of you so this is the answer now we'll do the next question now So now we'll do the next question that is 16 number 4. Amal and Bimal started a business. Amal or Bimal let's say order business start goryo. Amal invested rupees 500 for 9 months. Amal ko junse investment sa rupees 500 that is only kept for 9 months. Okay. And Bimal invested some money for 6 months. So Bimal invested some money. Ab kati paisa raithe tiyo bane ko sahi na. Jati paisa rahi thi, tiyo kati mahi na ko laagi rakhiyo for 6 months, okay? So if they make a profit of rupees 69 in a year and Bimal gets profit share of rupees 46. The at the end of the year, or borsa vari profit kati banaya sa rupees 69 and Bimal gets a profit share of rupees 46. Bimal let's say profit share kati paya rupees 46. So the capital of Bimal in that business is kati. Bimal ko capital se kati ho. Bimal ko investment se is it 1500 it is rupees 3000 it is, is it rupees 4500 or is it rupees 6000 so which is the correct option you have to check it okay so here you have to check that you investment of money sir that is kept for different time periods so this is the problem which is based on compound partnership business okay because normally investment that is kept for only nine months and Bimal is Junse Paisa Ragdesa that is kept only for six months. That is the investment of money is kept for different time periods. So this problem is based on compound partnership business. You know that, isn't it? So now, uh, so A's capital Niganwami. So A Omal, uh, not A's capital, Omal's capital. Omal invested rupees 500 for nine months. So therefore, A's capital Katiba. So A's capital is equal to rupees 500 multiplied by 9, which is equal to rupees Kadiba. This is 4500. Is that clear? Next, B's capital Niganav. Let B invested. Let B invested rupees X for how many months? For six months. So what is his capital? Oh, sorry, not is Amal's potayet. Amal's capital. Amal's capital is equal to rupees five hundred and nine. Only let Bimal invest it. Let Bimal. Let Bimal invest it rupees X for six months. That is Bimal's capital. Bimal's capital is equal to Kadiva rupees x into 6, which is equal to rupees 6x. So I think you have understood it. Now let us get the ratio of their capitals. So ratio of capitals. So ratio of capitals is equal to Amal is to Bimal. Amal is to K by Bimal, right? So Amal is to Bimal is equal to Amal ko kati sa rupees 4500 right Ani Bimal ko kati sa rupees 6x so this is 6x so 6 le uh, 6 ones are 6 6 le ela, ela pure jancha pure divide bhayal cha 6 seven za 42 43 44 45 3 30 45 minus 42 is 3 30 6 5s are 30 and 0 which is equal to 750 is to x okay now what is the total profit here total profit is equal to total profit is equal to rupees 69 now this total profit rupees 69 is divided in the ratio 750 is to x okay now here 
uh, now you have to divide this total profit rupees uh, you have to divide this total profit rupees 69 in the ratio of 750 is to x so let us find out the sum of the ratio so sum of the ratio sum of the ratio is equal to 750 plus x right so now uh, in the question it is given that bimal gets a profit share of rupees 46 bimal ko profit share ko there is a rupees 46 let us find out uh, the profit share of bimal here also okay so what is the profit share of bimal here profit share of bimal is equal to yeah bimal ko equivalent number ko this is x x divided by what is the sum of the ratio 750 plus x into what is the total profit it is rupees 69 is that clear now so this amount of profit will be received by bimal but by question what is the profit share of bimal it is rupees 46 but by question but by question profit share of bimal profit share of bimal is equal to rupees 46 this is also profit share of bimal this is also profit share of bimal you do it like you that should be equal so therefore x upon 750 plus x into 69 is equal to 46 okay so let us get the value for x here so now in this case 69 taken to the right hand side so it is x upon x upon 750 plus x is equal to 69 is taken to the right hand side so it goes to the denominator you should write it in the denominator on the right hand side so it is 46 by 46 by 69 right the is 46 plus 69 it can be cancelled by 23 23 to the 46 23 3 is a 69 right so now we can do cross multiplication if you cross multiply it what will you get 3 into x 3x is equal to 2 into 750 2 zeros are 0 2 fives are 10 0 1 7 2 is a 14 plus 1 is 15 right 2 zeros are 0 2 fives are 10 1 7 2 is a 14 plus 1 is 15 plus then it is 2x is that clear so now you have to get the value for x 2x is taken to the left hand side so it is 3x minus 2x is equal to 1500 or what is the value for x x is equal to 1500 okay so capital of bimal what is capital of bimal so x was capital of bimal isn't it x was capital of bimal so capital of bimal capital of bimal is equal to rupees 1500 is that clear so which is the correct option here number a is correct so number a rupees 1500 is correct rupees 1500 is correct so this is the answer so now we'll do the next question So now we'll do the next question that is uh, question number uh, 5 this 16 number 2 will be a homework okay so 16 number 2 you have to understand the question and you can do the problem okay so 16 number 2 is Suvendu and Nausad started a business with capitals of rupees 1500 and rupees 1000 so after a year there was a loss of rupees 75 then the loss of Subendu is which one is the correct option you have to choose the correct option in this case is it either a rupees 45 a b rupees 30 c rupees 25 and d rupees 40 the kunse correct option ho timale yo nikalnu parcha the question ma explain gardina you try to understand it and you have to do yourself okay so this 16 number 2 is your homework okay the 16 number 2 garma garnu let's do question number 5 here so 16 number 5 is here also you have to choose the correct option pallavi invested rupees 500 for 9 months Pallavi le rupees 500 investment got this for how many months? 9 months. 
and Rozia invested rupees 600 for five months. That is, in both the cases, the money is invested for different time period. Okay, so this problem is based on compound partnership business. Okay, the ratio of their profits here will be Kothi one. So they say A, B, C, or D. So you know that ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of profit. Zoti ratio of capital unsa tene unsa ratio of profit. Okay, now ratio of capital cost is also I mean here. Here one is a Pallavi invested rupees five hundred for nine months. So what is capital of Pallavi? So capital of Pallavi, capital of Pallavi, how can you write it? Rupees 500, it is kept for how many months? Nine months. Is equal to rupees, this is your 4,500. You can multiply them. Also, what is capital of Razia? So capital of Razia, so capital of Razia is equal to Razia invested rupees 6,000 for 5 months. So rupees, oh, not 6,000, sorry. Razia invested rupees 600 for 5 months. So what is the capital of Razia? Is equal rupees 600 into 5. 600 into 5. Is equal rupees, how much is it? This is your 6,000, right? So what is the ratio of capitals now? So ratio of capitals is equal to Pallavi is to Razia, Pallavi is 4500, that is 4500 is to capital of Razia 3000, it is 3000, is that clear? So your ratio is equal so you can cancel double zeros gets cancels, so it is 15, 15 less answer, 15 threes are 45, 15 twos are 30, which is equal to 3 is to 2, so as you know that Ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of their profit. The yen or ratio of their profit. So therefore, ratio of their profit, ratio of their profit is equal to Kadiba 3 is to 2. So which is the correct option out here? Number A. So number A 3 is to 2 is correct. So this is the answer. So in this case also you should know that ratio of capitals is equal to ratio of their profit. Okay. So this is the final answer. So this much is for today. Ta aza amile madhimik papers bada bani questions aru ko solve gore. Okay. So we solved problems from madhimik question papers and we did some problems from the book also. Okay. So we have done uh, this objective type of question from the book. So, I will revision this in the next class. I will give you the objective type of questions. Right? So, you can copy it. So, this is your homework. That is 16 number 2 will be your homework. Right?